You know, there's this famous uh, phrase in The Lion King. <laughs> to quote an incredible movie, right? <laughs> <laughs> my my, uh, my youngest daughter, who's now 26, she watched that movie incessantly, and I stupidly let her watch it over and over and over and over again. Th these days, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I keep my, my son, who's a, a toddler, uh, away from TV uh, to, to the, for the most part. But anyways, the scene that I'm talking about is when um, Simba is and talking to his dad who's up in the sky, right? He's already passed. And, and uh, it's Mufasa, and he's telling his son Simba, who's now grown up, remember who you are. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. that scene? Yeah. <laughs> and that's for you. That is for you, David. That is for you, listener. Remember who you are. Because you have forgotten. We all have forgotten. That's part of the plan. We are so much more than we can possibly imagine. And it's the veil of forgetfulness that was, you know, for our benefit, put there so that we would not, um, so that we could just play the game full out without recognizing that this is essentially like a video game and that's all it's it's so it's our it's for our highest and best good but if you can remember to even the smallest degree how powerful you are mm. how um, divinely guided you are how um, equal you are mm. to everyone Elon Musk Bill Gates doesn't matter who it is who whoever is is the elite or in charge or mega rich or whatever you are equal equally important equally valuable and your heart matters and your heart matters a lot and your attention changes reality your your intention also changes reality so much more than you could possibly imagine the the unseen world's more real than the seen world and if you just even have the willingness to suspend disbelief for a moment and try that to to see how your thoughts change your reality your thoughts become things clean up your thoughts and you will have a thriving business We got remembered that we have the power to choose our thoughts. We got remembered that everything starts in the mind. The battle is in the mind. How is it that though a thought shows up and it's a negative thought? That's okay, it shows up. But you have the power to stop it and to transform it to a positive thought. And how do you do it? Right? How, well, how do, do you it? do it? Yeah. Awareness. And also knowing that I'm not alone, knowing that I'm being guided by my creator, by God, right? And because that's another thing, I can, you know, you can, it's so easy to say, you can change your thoughts. And then your wife has cancer and she's dying. And you can tell that person, be positive, come on. <laughs> it's not like that. You need help. But you do have that power, the power of changing your thoughts, the power of, 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 of doing the things that not only serves you, but serves your creator by, by, by choosing the, a, a beautiful life, a life of service, a life of giving, a life of, you know, going back. Okay, so let's go back again to, to predestination. You know, when Moses talked to Joshua and told him, you are going to get the promised land. But then he says, God is going to fight that battle for you. However, you have to be strong and courageous and you have to do your effort because a lot of people when they think about predestination and everything is written then if everything is written why would i make an effort why would i do why would i go to work why would i open a business why would i write a book if everything is pre-written you know what i mean so uh, yeah so, everything yeah, is pre-written so, but you still get to you still get to do your effort well you you <laughs> absolutely have to because that's part of like this this is a world of action mm. This is not a world of sitting on the couch and binge watching Netflix and expecting everything to be handed to you. 
Mm. You do have to earn it. So how would that show up? Well, let me, let me give you an example. So I, I have a really uh, positive feeling. I've gotten a lot of confirmation from above that the, this really big prospect is going to sign, but it's been dragging on for a few weeks. So I could get all panicky and, or I could get, you know, start doubting myself or doubting the messages I'm receiving or whatever, or I could be a participant in this. And so when I got the guidance today, find a smoking gun. Okay, well, I, I, I could choose to not do so and just hope for the best, but not really participate in this uh, co-creation of, of, of an amazing outcome with this really huge count. But I listened to the, to the calling. I listened to the, uh, the advice from above, and I found something. I found they're running a pretty old version of WordPress. And it has a number of vulnerabilities. So then I formulated an email like, hey, just uh, wanted to give you a heads up. I noticed this. You're broadcasting it out for the world to see in your HTML code that you're running a pretty old version, a year old version of WordPress. Mm -hmm. And this is a big company. Mm -hmm. That's, that's um, <laughs> pretty negligent. So... <laughs> That's an, a, 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 um, a way to show my proactivity and my attention to detail and so forth and, and be a co-creator with God on this. Because I, I, I made, uh, made sure that I asked God to be my business partner. I almost said I made God my business partner. Oh, no, no, no. I asked him. Mm. And then I got a yes. He might say, well, how can you, like, everyone anyone and everyone can hear or sense God everyone that's our birthright to be able to receive that still small voice and so for some people it might come in as kind of a in their own voice in their head for some it just might be a knowing feeling and the way you can test this as a start is to ask God are you there hmm you don't even have to say it out loud because he hears your thoughts. So you can ask in your head, God, are you there? And then you just, I don't know, I get this feeling of a yes, or I did hear a yes in my head, but that was my own voice. And then you start second guessing yourself and you start making excuses or you start doubting or whatever, but you did get a yes. When we do something of service or we deliver one of God's miracles to somebody, one of the most important steps in this process is to transfer the credit to God. It's not for you. That's not, that's not an ego boost. And it's a trap if you think it is. If you're going to just accept that and say, oh, wow, thank you. I'm you know, happy to have helped and whatever. No, no. It is so important. Like the words that are coming out of my mouth are God's words. I'm just the instrument. And this is for you from God because God loves you. And, you know, this is, if it weren't for, if it weren't me, it'd be somebody else that would deliver this message. For the listeners, for the entrepreneurs that are listening, you can be very successful without God, no doubt. But it's actually the majority, I believe, are like that. The big difference is that with, without God, you wouldn't be free. With God, you will experience freedom. And in fact, you don't even have to have a successful business to get freedom in, in Christ, to get freedom in God. That's the biggest difference. I've seen so many people, multi-millionaires, successful and empty inside, still looking for God in the wrong places. They don't even know they're looking for God. So that if you really want to have freedom, acknowledge that. Nail, nail down, ask for forgiveness and ask for guidance. 
and just start, just surrender it all. And you'll see, just try it. I, I talk to people, you know, they are suffering all their life. And I, you know, I tell them, okay, have you tried this, that, that, that. And they tried it all. And then I tell them, okay, give God a chance. Why not? <laughs>